what is up my friends so this is going to be a new segment that i'm probably going to do at least once a week on a weekend where we're going to talk about a certain creepy creepypasta or creepy story urban legend out there on the internet and we're going to be talking about it and just discussing it and just a good time you know so hope all of you are doing good with quarantining staying safe all social distancing all of that but let's talk about the first one up is siren head now the next one that's coming up is a request by the user ml and i will be doing the russian sleep experiment so if you have any suggestions drop them below in the comments and let me know of a creepy pasta that you wanted me to talk about an urban legend all of that first one up however is siren head the reason for me doing siren head is because Corey Kenshin just did a gameplay of it, which I could do a gameplay as well of the game. If you guys want to see that, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll probably be doing that sometime this week. But he did a gameplay about it, and I had never heard about it, and then as I researched it even more, I found out that it was a Fallout mod just recently as well, and there have been other uh, YouTubers who do gameplay that have been playing this game as well. So I decided to look into the origins of Siren Head. So Siren Head is a creature created by Trevor Henderson, and Trevor Henderson has been doing this for a while now. So I'll leave a link below for Trevor Henderson's Instagram page so you can go check out all the other amazing artwork he's done. But basically the symbolism of Siren Head is patron saint of going missing without a trace, of creeping dread, and of bad things coming. So like I said, he has been turned into an adaptation for a video game, which I will link below as well. And if you want to see me play that, let me know by liking this video. So the Tumblr post that originally had Siren Head had this to say. She was on vacation with her husband, and they were scoping out graveyards on the way. As you do, when she saw it, rising out of the cold cemetery, big as an old telephone pole. Was this some kind of bizarre art piece the authorities hadn't gotten wise to yet? Even as she stepped out of the car, the megaphones on its head screeched to life. 9, 18, 1, child, 17, remove, vile. A buzzing doubled voice screamed random words at her. At this point, it jerked into motion, striding down the hill towards her. So yeah, it's a pretty eerie um, post and definitely eerie look that Siren Head has in a little bit of background on the creature, monster, whatever you want to call it. Siren Head is a 40 foot tall humanoid creature with a heavily emaciated, near skeletal frame covered in dried, mummified flesh the color of rusty metal. So definitely that's where you get the whole um, like telephone pole, light pole vibes of it. Its limbs were disproportionately long and thin with arms as long as its legs ending in huge bony hands. Where its head and neck would be is a thin pole of flesh with two sirens attached to them, hence the name Siren Head, and several black wires snaking around its neck and into its upper shoulders pressed against its abdomen. So definitely not the creature you want to run into while you're out there camping. These speakers are the only metal parts of its bodies, fused to the neck by tendrils of skin and capable of swiveling around it much like the head of an owl. Some images depict Siren Head speakers with toothy, lipless, human-like jaws and a long, retractable, thin, snake-like tongue. Though Henderson has said that the teeth are only visible on a certain radio frequency. So if you've played the game or seen gameplay, you know that it produces a very, very eerie sound from these sirens and it's definitely one that I could see um, very, very chilling to hear, especially being out there. And Siren Head is normally confined to rural towns, um, places where you could definitely uh, expect something as huge and big as Siren Head to actually be able to blend in, which we'll get into that because of its abilities of mimicry, it's able to definitely blend in. True to its name, Siren Head speakers can play various types of loud noises. Great sirens, garbled music, conversations, imitations of people close to the victims, number stations, broadcasts, and emergency broadcasts. So I think the air raid sirens are definitely like the most iconic uh, sound that this monster has and the one we always hear about. And I think that it is definitely the one that sends more um, chills down your spine. When mimicking a human, a distinctive distortion in the voice is always present. 
due to the sound being played through sirens instead of vocal cords or other organic materials of creating noise. So you could definitely will tell the difference of the siren head mimicking somebody else's voice. And it sort of kind of reminded me of the monster from Annihilation where that monster after it killed its victim, it would replay the last things that it said. So I thought that that was pretty interesting as well. And um, that monster Annihilation was just creepy. So can you imagine like a big tall humanoid thing coming at you and it's mimicking these sounds? Or better yet, it's mimicking these sounds to try and lure you as the monster annihilation would do. So, for its personality, Siren Head is very hostile and very dangerous. And I mean, just by the look of it, I don't think that this monster is the one that's going to be bringing you some cookies or helping you hunt out there. Unless it's hunting you, right? Siren Head is mainly located in rural towns and wooded areas, as I already said before. So that's definitely why a lot of its victims are travelers, hikers, and it's just pretty much a way for it to be able to blend in and not be like seen because could you imagine this thing in a town such as like Tokyo uh, South Korea places like that where there is just like a bunch of like industrial things and then this woodsy type monster thing is just trying to hide behind the buildings and everything wouldn't happen so it definitely has to be in the woods so since Siren Head can blend in very well within trees people do not even notice it because of that and it uses the sounds of the victim's loved ones playing from Siren's Head's victims to get them to come further into the forest. So if you got a whole situation where you're out with a bunch of people and y'all split up for some reason, it's going to take notice of that and it's going to pretty much make these uh, fake calls in order to draw you in further. So its abilities, let's break those down. First and foremost, it's the mimicry, and that's what I've been talking about, how it's able to mimic the voices of people around it, submit different radio broadcasts out there, so it's going to be able to find out exactly how to get a different group of people further into the forest closer to it where it can actually capture them by doing various things such as that, and just like the Monster Annihilation where it is able to pick up the voices and sort of be like a parrot of sorts, and so you got this whole group of people over here they split up as I said and it's gonna listen and be like okay I'll pretend I'm this one and I'll make that noise and then they'll come closer and once they're close I got them of course we know that Siren Head will definitely have the strength because of its size and it's able to break down trees so you can imagine what it can do to other things speed is one of its things as well and that it is very agile even for its size but we can pretty much determine it is actually that agile by how thin and slender it is. Uh, nothing to do with Slenderman, which will be another story we'll get to later on in the series. Stealth is something also that it definitely has because we can see that it can definitely blend in, especially at night. I don't think that we'd be able to see this thing coming, especially if you see a bunch of trees, a bunch of poles, a bunch of like even radio antennas out there in the wilderness. It would be definitely something hard to see. Which brings us to our final thing is that Siren Head could be able to also transform its head into street lamp lights and actual sirens as well so it can further like mimic itself into the forest itself and definitely make it harder to be seen. Siren Head definitely proves its way that it can definitely adapt to many environments it's in but it definitely has its strength in the forest, in the wooded areas, rural towns, all of that because it is very much a monster that is inhabiting those uh, places so definitely as I said I think that if it were out in the city it'd be a different story but it definitely sticks to these areas because it knows them well and it's able to really get into people's head psychologically with its mimicry and all of that and on top of all the other stuff that it has so I thought that it was a pretty cool monster to talk about and a urban legend because of that and I just wanted to know a little bit more and hopefully you did as well and if you want to see more of these type of videos where we go into urban legends and just creepy pastas like that let me know below by leaving another one that you would like to see as i said the next one coming up will be the russian sleep experiment one that i know about fairly amount of it but not really much of it like that but i've heard it and seen it over the years so i'll definitely be looking more into that one i want to do this maybe once a week so we're still doing the movies we're still doing the tv shows we're doing the video games we're doing the music all the stuff you love on the internet and as always if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that like, hit that comment, hit that share, all that good stuff. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. We're so close to getting there. And anyways, as I said, 
we're still going to be talking movies and TV shows. I got a video coming out pretty soon on My Hero Academia Season 4 ending, as well as the ending to Debs. I'm also thinking about doing some of the ending explains to some of the video games I've been playing as well, such as Bioshock and Last of Us, as we get closer to getting new sequels for those as well so we got a lot of things coming to the channel so if you love all that stuff make sure you follow me on here make sure you subscribe follow me on twitter as well if you want some more insight on all the things i'm doing and yeah that's gonna do it for me let me know what you think about siren head and if y'all want to see me play the video game make sure you give this video a thumbs up let's get to 100 likes and we'll probably do that stay safe stay positive